close your eyes and try to keep your mind with the breath. Be aware of the breath all the way in, all the way out. It gives the mind a chance to settle down and to know itself better and to do a little cleaning up inside. All these Dharma talks are given while people are meditating, and it's one of the themes that you'll hear over and over again is that when you meditate, you're doing good not only for yourself but also for other people. And as you clean up your mind, other people will benefit too. But it's good to re remember that there's also the other principle, that by helping other people you help yourself. This is one of the principles the Buddha said, by which you protect yourself. In other words, if you develop the skills that can be of assistance to your family, to your neighbors, and your neighbors and family are going to come and help protect you. If you don't do anything for them, they're, they're just going to look at you and not really feel any sense of gratitude or any sense of indebtedness to you. So it's good to have some skills with you. For the monks, monks are taught not only how to meditate, but also how to dye their robes, how to clean up, how to be carpenters, how to basically do the work around the monastery, help the other monks, help the other people who come to the monastery. When I went to stay with the John Fu, he said, he wasn't just going to be teaching me how to sit with my eyes closed, meditate, but also every other skill that a monk should know. He said he wanted to pass on to me. And they're all around skills, and many of them are there for helping the group as a whole. This is in line with an old Thai saying that when you're visiting someone's house, don't just sit around and do nothing. Make little toy cows for their children to play with. In other words, make yourself of use to the people around you, and that's a protection for you. There was a case in the time of the Buddha where the monk was sick. The Buddha and Ananda came across the monk, and nobody was caring for them, so the Buddha and Ananda took care of the monk, and then called the monks together and said, Do you know about this monk who's sick over there? And they said, Yes, we know. They said, Why isn't anyone looking after him? He says, Because he doesn't do anything for the group. Now, the Buddha criticized them for not helping the monk, but it does tell you something about human nature. And if you're not helpful, helpful to people around you, they're not going to care about you. So as the Buddha said, just as meditating, developing mindfulness is good for other people, being good to other people is good for you. He lists four qualities. There's the quality of being and having patience, being patient with other people, then being harmless, having goodwill, and having sympathy for them. The sympathy where you want to go out and help them when you see that they need help. And this is the principle on which society is based. Without this, society would fall down pretty quickly. So think of the skills that you can develop that would be helpful for your family, helpful for your neighbors, helpful for the people around you. And this will be your protection, so that when you need their help, they'll be happy to give it. So the goodness goes both ways. The good you do for yourself in your mind spreads out to other people, and the good that you do for other people comes back into your mind, develops good qualities that you're going to need, both for your own protection inside and for the protection other people will be happy to give.